Hi there, Alex Hutchings here, and welcome to this tutorial on how to set up and get the best out of your new Pocket GT. Firstly, make sure your Pocket GT is fully charged before use. Plug in the USB cable on the right-hand side and charge from a laptop or wall charger. When fully charged, this light will turn green. Pocket GT gives you around four hours of battery life per charge. Now you're ready to plug in and get going. Turn on the unit with the on and off switch on the side. Plug your guitar or bass in the input and use the output for your headphones. There's also a master volume and auxiliary in and the center cancel function I'll explain a little bit later on. Now you're ready to start using the controls on the front panel. These allow you to quickly and easily edit the inbuilt presets if you're not using the app. The value control will let you scroll through the 99 presets. Simply turning the control to the left or right will scroll up one by one. By pushing it in and turning it, it will go up in increments of 10. Once you have found a sound that you like, you can adjust the settings via the onboard controls. When the red LED is on the top row, it will edit the amplifier gain, amplifier level, and reverb amount. Using the select button, we can then move to the next set of controls. This will now edit any overdrive or distortion pedal, modulation, or delay. If you turn these down all the way to the left, the effect will default to its preset value. If you turn it up one click, it will actually turn the effect off. Then, as you turn it up, it will increase the amount of the effect. This is the same for modulation and delay. If you've dialed in a tone that you like, you can quick save it into the unit by holding down the value knob. The current preset number will begin to flash, then you can scroll along to the number you would like to save, hold down the value knob again, then it will be saved to that position. On the front, you also have the Bluetooth button, as well as a tuner, which gives you instant access to a chromatic tuner. On the left side, you'll notice the center cancel switch. Depending on the mix of the particular track, this can often remove a main vocal or lead instrument so that you can jam along. This works by simply removing the audio frequencies in the center of a mix, which affects any incoming audio via Bluetooth, auxiliary in, or audio via USB. At the bottom of the unit, you have the transport controls for playing, pausing, fast forward and rewinding YouTube videos or audio playback once paired through Bluetooth. Pressing the play pause button will stop or start any audio or visual content and holding the fast forward or rewind buttons, of course, will scroll through as well. Double tapping the forward or back button will skip the video or audio by 10 seconds at a time. Now, to really get the best experience from the Pocket GT, it should be paired with your smart device, like a phone or tablet. Once paired, the Pocket GT app gives you access to YouTube videos, sound editing, and a tone library. To start, head to the App Store or Google Play and download the Pocket GT app. Next, we need to open your device's Bluetooth settings. Make sure there are no previous connections to Pocket GT. If you have already attempted to connect to Pocket GT, simply forget or delete the previous connection. Now, on the Pocket GT itself, hold down the Bluetooth button for a few seconds until the blue light flashes quickly in the bottom right-hand corner. Pocket GT audio should now appear as a connection. Click on this to connect the audio. It is important you do not connect the Pocket GT MIDI at this stage. Always make sure you connect Pocket GT Audio first when setting up the device. Once Bluetooth Audio is connected, head to the Pocket GT app. Click on Bluetooth MIDI device and select Pocket GT MIDI. Select Pair and it should show as Pocket GT connected. 
click back, then OK. Pocket GT is now paired over Bluetooth, MIDI and audio and we are ready to deep dive in some of the more interesting features. A big part of Pocket GT is that we can edit and dial in any sound that you want. At the top of the screen, you'll see the preset name. Tapping this will bring up a list of all currently installed presets. Simply tap whichever one you want to hear. Make sure you select editor along the bottom of the screen and this will take you to the signal chain. We can simply scroll along and see all currently engaged amps or effect blocks. Tapping on the block will turn it on or off, whilst holding it down will take you to the editor screen. For example, on this screen, we can see all the preamps available. We can select a model using the drop down menu and then edit the parameters by touching the screen. In addition to editing the sound, tapping Chain Edit will also allow you to change the order of the amp or effects block so you can really customize your setup. When ready, hit right in the top right hand corner. This will allow you to save the preset to the onboard memory. The biggest functionality in Pocket GT comes with its ability to allow you to interact with content on YouTube. There are several great functions that will allow you to use the Pocket GT in a variety of ways depending on the type of content you're watching. By clicking session at the bottom of the app, you'll be presented with this screen. From here, we can now integrate some of the YouTube content. To do this, head to YouTube and search for the video you want. Press the share button. From here, you can select the Pocket GT app to share it to. Select post and it will automatically reload the Pocket GT app, filling in both the URL and the title of the video taken directly from YouTube. From here, you're free to name it however you wish. If you have the URL saved to your clipboard, you can hit the plus symbol in the top left-hand corner and paste it into the box. Please bear in mind that some videos may be restricted and are not able to be imported into the Pocket GT app. Once done, head back to the session screen. One of the coolest features is the ability to play along to backing tracks or videos directly from YouTube. As well as this, Pocket GT app allows us to change the sounds automatically by adding markers to the track. You will see I've already created a couple in this video. Setting a marker is very simple. Find a bit of the video you want to mark and hit marker set. Hitting the arrow to the right now allows us to edit that marker. We can also give it a new name and even change the time if we want to. Once we have set all the markers we need, we can hit play and as the track plays, our sign will automatically change. You may find as you play, you want to quickly change the memory the marker is set to. So simply scroll the value knob on the Pocket GT until you get the sound that you would want. Then tap Mem Set in the app and it will save to the new marker. If you're watching this on the Pocket GT, you'll notice markers along this actual video. If you're plugged in and playing along, the guitar sign will change automatically each time you reach a new marker. To demonstrate the automatic sign change feature, I will now play for 30 seconds some simple rhythm guitar in the key of E minor, and if you play along, you'll hear the signs change.
You can also set AB repeat positions. This will loop certain parts of the video to really help with focused learning. To set AB repeat markers, simply press play on the video and hit A when you want the repeat to start, then hit B to set the end point. The video will now loop this section. You can also use the transport controls to play and pause. The Pocket GT also gives you the ability to not only export your patches, but to share the videos, including the sign markers that you've already set. There is also an onboard librarian where you can create collections of sounds. These are called live sets, and you can piece together all of your favorite tones, which will then be backed up and stored. The sounds in Pocket GT are also compatible with the GT1 floor unit. So, any signs you've created in either unit can be shared or swapped between those two devices. If you're finding the need for some extra inspiration or new signs, BOSS also gives you access to something called BOSS Tone Central. Here, you can find expertly created preset tones that are available that you can add into your unit at any time. Within the app, you can access some other features that you might find useful. By clicking menu in the bottom right hand corner, you can access a more visual tuner and check the battery life. Here, you can also adjust the parameters which the front panel knobs control, allowing Pocket GT to be set up in a way that works best for you and the signs you create. Also, you'll find quick access to the manual should you need to refer to any of the features at a later date. So there we have it. That was a quick overview on the Pocket GT and how to get the best out of some of its features. If you do need any more information, please head over to boss.info.